Hello friends, welcome to Science Land. I am Nikita and today we are going to talk about multiple sclerosis. But before starting the video, I request you to subscribe to my channel. It truly really means a lot to me and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much. Let's start. Multiple sclerosis. The literal meaning of these two words is multiple scars. These scars are actually the MS or multiple sclerosis lesions. Okay. Now, multiple sclerosis is a common cause of neurologic disability. It causes disability, but that disability is neurological. Okay. Basically, it is an autoimmune disorder. It's an autoimmune disease affecting the CNS, central nervous system, which comprises of the brain and the spinal cord. Autoreactive T cells of the body, which are the immune cells, attack the myelin. Okay. This is my nerve cell or the nerve fiber or the exon. It's a neuron basically. Okay. Now this neuron has a body and a fiber. This body is like where nucleus is present and this is the fiber through which the impulses passes. Okay. Now myelin is the green color thing. It is an insulating substance which protects this fiber. Okay. Usually myelin is a fatty substance it's obviously a self substance as in the body's component it is it is not an external substance which is injected to the body it is naturally present in the body so what happens is the autoreactive t cells somehow they think that this myelin substance is actually an antigen and they start attacking this myelin so they will eat up this myelin okay now once that is done they will cause inflammation. They will even dissect this axon. Eventually, like gradually over the period of time, not at once, but that's how they think myelin is an antigen to the body. So what happens is now when the demyelination is done or myelin has been attacked, the impulse which is coming will be interrupted here. It won't be efficiently passing to this side of the same neuron so that causes neurologic disability okay so the autoreactive t cells attack the myelin which is the body or the self substance okay causing demyelination the ultimate thing is actually inflammatory plaques or lesions which are seen virtually now women are more susceptible than men and that is two to three times more. Women usually develop multiple sclerosis in the childbearing age, which is 20 to 40 years. The cause, we don't know the exact cause. Uh, the multiple sclerosis is not well understood. Okay, but the scientists who study, they somehow say that the etiology for this disease can be genetic and environmental factors. Now, in environmental factors, there are certain viruses, viruses like Epstein-Barr virus, demyelinating virus, it will affect the myelin. So, people suggest, they cannot conclude 100%, but they suggest that, okay, if virus is actually attacking the myelin, a virus might be a cause for multiple sclerosis. But the data for these demyelinating viruses is not, you know, sufficient enough. Also, there is another substance which is vitamin D. Now, this is like if an individual has low levels of vitamin D in the blood, it uh, increases the number of brain lesions. That is the study. So, they used this hypothesis and they checked with the multiple sclerosis patients. All the multiple sclerosis patients also had low levels of vitamin D. So, they concluded that okay vitamin d is somehow linked to multiple sclerosis but we cannot be very sure as to we are uncertain that vitamin d is actually the cause of the disease or a consequence of the disease that's why i have mentioned it in the environmental factors now because uh, the exact cause for the disease is 
unknown to us scientists use certain models to study multiple sclerosis we are going to talk about that particular model now okay now let's talk about how multiple sclerosis is studied so there is this disease which is known as eae experimental allergic encephalomyelitis or experimental autoimmune encephalomyelitis it's a disease as in it is a th cell mediated autoimmune disease th as in the t helper cells so this disease is basically mediated by th cells in the same manner wherein the multiple sclerosis is mediated by t cells okay now this eae is characterized by t cell and monocyte infiltration in cns meaning uh, the t cells and monocytes which are present in the periphery of the uh, body they pass the blood brain barrier and they infiltrate in the cns okay so in the similar manner the multiple sclerosis work here also in this disease the t cells are you know generated in the periphery of the body and they pass the bbb and they get into the cns and attack the myelin so this eae is actually used to study multiple sclerosis and that's why the name eae animal model apart from multiple sclerosis it is also used to study adem that's another disease let's keep that aside so the disease eae can be induced in different species depending on what kind of animal model do you want mice rats guinea pigs rabbits primates etc okay so once you have the animal model you need to inject an antigen right the common antigens which are used are myelin basic protein mbp and proteolipid protein plp there are few more but these are the common ones now this antigen is co injected along with an adjuvant okay for example i'm taking mice i choose mbp as my antigen i'll take an adjuvant which is uh, going to enhance the immune response of this antigen in my case the adjuvant is uh, normally pertussis toxin okay that will help in breaking the bbb now this antigen will go and surround the central nervous system entirely so the mice or the body of mice will generate t cells and it will be infiltrating in cns which is known as cellular infiltration now this happens within a span of 2 to 3 weeks what happens is demyelination is caused and eventually paralysis so most mice uh die but mice who survive are uh, taken for the study and you know that's how multiple sclerosis is actually studied now what happens is generally mbp is not an antigen for a normal human being okay but in eae disease the myelin basic protein is exposed in such a non physiologic condition that the immune system recognizes it as an antigen okay so that is the introduction of multiple sclerosis that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching bye bye